South Nutfield on a glorious day outside. It's really nice today. Anyway, I've decided to empty my refrigerator this morning and cook something nice and simple. I'm going to make some fish cakes. Now, fish cakes can be made from all sorts of different things with different recipes throughout the world. I'm going to show you what I've got in my fridge. If you'd like to come down and have a look. First of all, I've got some fish. I've got a little bit of salmon. And I've got a little bit of smoked haddock there, which is, looks very nice. I've got a boiled egg, which I'm going to use in my sauce. Some mashed potato. Uh, a bit of lemon and lime, which I've found. I've got some ancho chili flakes, some pepper, some jalapeno peppers, which I will have in one fish cake because Mrs. Davis doesn't like jalapenos. Uh, capers. And I've got some pickled gherkins and some mayonnaise. And finally, I got a little bit of white sauce that I made for my cauliflower last night, which I'm going to add to the mix. What we do, get our bowl, just put the bowl here, and put in the fish. Uh, I'm going to use most of the fish. It'll be about 250 grams, really, I guess, if, you, if you're looking for weights. So we'll put that in. And just flake it a little bit. Now, I think you should add about the same amount of potato. Um, some people add more, some people add less, but I'm going to add about the same. So about 250 grams as well of potato. And my white sauce which I'm going to just add into the mix as uh, so you might as well make it up a lot of people use white sauce I, I, I never thought about it but I found some this morning so a little bit of white sauce and a cauliflower from last night and all we're going to do is mix them together very simple very easy now I would also normally add a bit of parsley but unfortunately I haven't got any in the garden at the moment I'll maybe maybe find a bit of basil for the dressing later on. Now just make it, mix it up. Touch of salt. And a touch of white pepper. I use white pepper because it gives a better flavour. Not a lot. And I'm going to add a pinch of ancho chilli flakes. The dark ones, ancho chilli. Just a pinch of them, not too much. It just gives it a little bit of extra flavour. There we go. You see it's looking nice, the colours look great, looks very vibrant and very good. Right, so once we've got that ready, we'll get on the board and shape them. Oh, a bit of lemon juice. So a squeeze of lemon juice. Just a squeeze in with that. Save some for later for the sauce. So there we go. There's your, fit, your mix. Now that the mix has been mixed, I'm going to make them into small balls. Just simply wet your hands and do it in a ball like so. And then we've got a bit of flour on here. And we just simply press it down like that. Nothing clever. Bit of, bit of flour on the fish cake like so. And I'll put it in the plate already very simple thing to do just don't do it too hard because <laughs> you'll break it it's ready to go back in make sure they're about the same thickness as well because you want them to cook all at the same time what I'm going to do now is um, put them in the fridge for a while and get them ready nice and firm to put in and cook in the pan whilst I'm doing that I'll be making a delicious tartar sauce so they're ready to go in the fridge and now we're going to make a classic English sauce with this today it's called sauce tartare I'm going to enrich it with some egg that I found some in my uh, fridge so here we go so we need to get first of all we'll start with a few uh, gherkins or cornichons if you've got them we just want a couple we don't want too many and we're going to cut them nice and fine Cornichon. Cornichon is a small pickled gherkin. 
just cut them fine as you like. And they're going to go in the sauce. The first, the base, will be these small pickled gherkins. There we go. We buy the flat ones because we put them with sandwiches. And then one of my favourite, favourite ingredients, capers. I love capers. Just a bad scant spoonful. And just give them a quick chop as well. They, they depart an absolutely fantastic flavour. Capers and fish. A marriage made in heaven. So we just put them in there, like so. Next thing we're going to do is add our mayonnaise. And I'm using a light mayonnaise today. You can do whatever you want with me. You can make your own if you want. But I just find it easier just to use a bit of light mayonnaise. I think that's probably about enough. Let's give it a quick mix. Quick stir. There you go. Now, to enhance this sauce, I'm going to add a bit of chopped egg. We used to do that at Citibank. We used to enhance the tartar sauce with chopped egg. So anyhow you want. This just came out of the fridge this morning. <laughs> so I like on lockdown, I like to use everything I've got in the fridge. Waste not, want not. Good Yorkshire way. Put that, put that bit of that in there. That's lovely. Now I'm going to give this a quick stir. Now I'll probably want to taste a bit, won't I? So there we go, just a little bit of tasting. Lovely. The um, fish cakes have been in the fridge for about half an hour and uh, nice and firm. I'm just going to pop them in the pan and saute them. So we've got a It's not, it's not massively fast the pan this morning. But there we go, we'll pop them all in there to cook in the pan until they go nice and brown they should be ready to serve. Now some people use raw fish in uh, fish cakes, I don't tend to use it, I use cooked fish. If you are using raw fish you'll probably need to cook them for a little bit longer. So I've cooked them for about five or six minutes in the pan. Just bring them out and put them on the plate like so. And the last one like so. So there we are. We have four delicious fish cakes of salmon and smoked mackerel. And I will just add a little bit of the uh, sauce in the middle of the plate, hopefully. And just to finish it off, we have a little bit of lime because I'm running out of lemon on one and lime on the other and it's ready for lunch so there we have smoked salmon and sorry smoked haddock and salmon fish cakes done the yorkshire way there are many other ways to do it but i like the yorkshire way okay thank you very much for joining us again in south knockfield today on this beautiful beautiful summer's day come back and see us Week 10 of the lockdown. Stay safe. Bye-bye.